We're going to look at the first portion of machining these soft vice jaws. And what we're going to do is take this out of the material top and bottom to get these two sides parallel with each other. In the next section, we'll flip this in the vise and do these two sides and the pockets and holes. But for now, we'll get started. I'm going to create a setup. And for this setup, we're going to choose box point and we'll go off the top. For the stock, I'm going to do a fixed size box. And the stock that I have is six inches wide. It's about one inch thick. Depending on how you cut your piece, you should measure, but the piece that I cut out was about 1.8 inches. Okay, I'm gonna start mine up in the center here so that I can reduce the amount of uh, error left, right, front to back. For the Z position, I wanna offset from the bottom and I'm just gonna offset this 0.1 inches so I can remember. If I look at my front view, I can see I'm gonna be taking more material off the top than the bottom, but I'll be able to remember and come back to 0.1. Again, my setup should stay the same here. Post-process if you need to change your program. Hit okay. Now that we've got our first setup, I'm going to be doing a facing operation and we're gonna rough out a majority of the material using the shear hog. So I have a three quarter inch shear hog and I've left it as tool 49. You can see that within your IND uh, class tool list. So I'm gonna select the shear hog, hit okay. I'm gonna not choose geometry. And for my heights, we're not going to go, I'll pull it to the front view, but we're not going to go to the model top. So always start from the bottom here. And what we're going to do is leave 0 0.05. I'm going to take that off with the fly cutter. Okay, and the rest of our operations can stay the same. For passes, we're going to go multiple depths. And for the maximum step down, the carbide insert is 0.5 inches. So I'm going to be pretty conservative with how much I take off and I'm just going to take off 0.1 per pass. Okay. And I'm going to do climb cutting. My step over, I can make pretty large because I'm going to be doing a finishing pass later on. If I need to, I can do a stock offset and a pass extension. And I will do a little bit of a stock offset so that I clear the part in all directions. So I'm just gonna do 0.25 stock offset and that'll give me enough room around the whole part, about an eighth inch around the whole part to make sure that uh, it clears everything. I'll go over to my linking tab and I would like to keep the tool down. I do have a lead in and a lead out, and I'm gonna keep those for now the, the same. So let's hit okay, and let's see what our tool path looks like. So here we can see we're taking multiple depths. We're taking 0.1 off. So looks like we've got two major cuts. I'm gonna simulate this, put my stock on, I like wall paint and I'll look at the material and I'll hit play. And that's taking off 0.1 inch each time. That's quite a bit. I'm climb cutting on this because the carbide insert goes in one direction. So I wanna make sure that I use the front side of the tool. I still need to take off that Point one here that we left. So if I edit that and go to my heights tab, I left a 0 0.05 rather. So let's do another facing operation. We're going to select the facing mill superfly. 
we'll hit OK. And things should be pretty similar. My geometry is the same. For my heights, I do want to bring it down to the model top. But the stock top is actually going to be the model top plus 0.05. So now it's starting off right where it left off. So that's that 0.05. And here you can see this is my top height and that's my bottom height. So that should now push everything down just a bit. As for my passes, I can go both ways. This is going to clear the whole part in one pass anyways. It's asking for a step over again. We don't need that. I do want to add a pass extension. And this is a three inch uh, diameter cutting tool. So I'm gonna go a little over the radius and use 1.75. And we'll see that in a second. I'm not gonna do multiple depths. And for my linking, I need to make sure I extend before retract. That way the part, the tool stays down off the part before it comes all the way up. That'll give us a clean finish to make sure that any chattering on the backside will completely finish before it leaves the part. So other than that, let's hit OK and let's see. We should be taking one pass down to the top of our part. I'll simulate this. And there we go, we can see the top of our part. And see how it totally clears the path? That's exactly what we want. All right, I'm gonna create a new setup and we're going to focus on the bottom of this part. I left 0.1 inches on the bottom, but if we look at our initial setup, I started at 1.8 and my part is 1.5 so I've taken off should be 0.2 on one side so on the other side we still need to take off that 0.1 and if we remember in this facing operation we did two paths two passes and our depth was 0.1 and then the last one was that 0.05 here. So if we have 1.8 for our total stock, we have 1.5 plus the 0.1, that's 1.6, we've taken off 0.2. So we need to take that 0.1 off the bottom here. And in our new setup, our stock is gonna be a fixed size box. Again, that's six inches by one inch. And now for our height, we've taken 0.2 off. It's actually 1.6. And again, that's going to be offset from the bottom. And now it's going to be offset zero from the bottom. So if I look at my view, but now we need to flip our box point to the top. So I will flip my Z axis. And that should produce the result that I'm looking for. My Z is up, my X is left and right, and now my part is sitting on the bottom. I should have 0.1 here, and everything looks pretty good. So I hit OK. And then we're just gonna do one facing operation on this side. I will select my facing mill, Superfly, Hit OK. As for my geometry, I'm taking off the stock. My heights, we are going to go down to the model top. So that's all good. And for my passes, we're going to do multiple depths. And I'm going to take off 0.05 each turn, so it should do two passes. I could go both sides back and forth, but I'm going to let it go in one direction for now. I'll do my climb cutting and my step over again. Doesn't matter because I'm totally going to clear the part. My pass extension is going to be 1.75. So I'm going to go off the part more than half the radius. For my linking, again, extend before retract. Let's hit OK and see what we get. Ideally, we have two passes at point. 
and let's simulate. There's one. And we should see the part. There we go. That should give us two parallel sides for our soft jaws to get started. Make sure you save your part. Hit OK. In the next video, we will face the other two sides and make the pockets.